Welcome back. A mother of five who lost three limbs after barely surviving sepsis was told she's not eligible for disability payments. The government says it's because she was a stay-at-home mom. Michelle Baudin has our story. It's kind of crazy. Oh my God! I'm not going to lie. Okay, it's my turn. There are five kids in the Seaford house. Come on, Ben! Mom Kristen spent more than a decade as a stay-at-home mom taking care of everyone. Her husband just recently got a full grasp on just exactly what that meant. What are you doing? I had no idea. My eye-opener was when I had to hire five people to replace her. Brooke had to bring in help after Kristen almost died three years ago. My mom was like laying down on the floor and we had to call the ambulance. She had the flu that turned into sepsis and to save her doctors had to amputate one leg, the foot of another and both arms. An attorney helped them apply for Social Security disability payments. Attorney Vernon Sumwald has worked thousands of Social Security cases and says he was blindsided when the government denied Kristen's claims. This is one of those situations where you look at it and you just shake your head going, this is just wrong. Kristen spent nine years working before deciding to stay at home with the kids, but Sumwald says because she hadn't paid into the system in the last 10 years, she's not eligible for help. I think, frankly, that that is stupid. The Social Security Act is meant to give security. If you've paid into the system in the past and you make the economic decision for your family to stay at home while, while your spouse works, you're not protected. So where's the security in that? It made me feel like I was worthless, that I wasn't worth anything. And pretty much I think everybody out there should know that she's worth a lot. Kristen says she chose to be a stay-at-home mom because that made the most financial sense for their family. It was necessary. I felt like we were being penalized because we made that choice. That's just not fair. Right. Kristen's lawyer says the system overall needs an overhaul. Most of the laws governing Social Security, including the one dealing with stay-at-home moms, have been in place for decades. Part of the problem, though, is that ever-looming threat that the money could run out. Next here on your News at Noon, find out what the Mr. Food Test Kitchen is cooking up just in time for our holiday weekend.